What's up? How are you guys? We are down at Frankie's Free Range Meat for our usual Monday vlog. It is, again, a beautiful day here in New York. I'll show you guys the nice blue sky. Really, really nice out. Definitely way colder than last week. Hey, is anything more charming than 19 power lines right outside your door? Uh, so it's towards the end of the day. We have all of the orders packed up for you guys. We got all the meat orders here, and the post office is actually uh, back here loading up those, which is a lot of eggs, and then we have uh, all of the rest of the Frankie's Free Range Foods orders going out. Uh, I did want to tell you guys again, if you're in California, please try to order like $130, $150 worth of stuff minimum, uh, because right now, you know, there's some people in California placing like $100 orders, and you know, for the rest of the US, that's completely fine, that's our minimum, but for California, West Coast, Oregon, Washington, all that stuff, it's a little bit of a problem now, so, you know, I don't want to have to start kind of like canceling orders and telling people, hey, sorry, uh, because I don't think there's a way for us to uh, put onto the website like a separate minimum for different states. It's maybe I can, maybe I'll have to do that. But for now, I like to avoid it. And uh, let me just show you guys what's left of the fresh beef share. Now, all of the fresh beef share is sold. There's four left in here that we are shipping out today. And I'll show the clip from last week of us packing it up just so you guys get an idea of what you're getting. What's up guys, the fresh beef just came in. I'm gonna show you guys what you're getting with each order. So four to five pounds of ground beef. We got one porterhouse steak. Gonna be one roast. So here we have some round roast, pretty lean. Then it's gonna be one ribeye steak with the order, bone in. Uh, about half the orders are going to get some brisket, some of them will not. And then every order is going to have some ribs. Just going to give you guys a quick example. So we have four pounds of the ground beef, one porterhouse steak, we got the round roast, ribeye steak, and we got some ribs. Four to five pounds of ground beef, porterhouse steak, ribeye steak, roast as well as some ribs and then some briskets and some extra roast thrown in here and there but definitely let me know how you guys enjoy the fresh beef and we should be able to do it uh in another week or two if you guys would like and this zero dot on the scale 9.6 so you guys are going to get between like 9.75 and 10.5 pounds of ground beef if it's a little less a little more just uh, let us know and we can issue you guys a credit but what we do have left is two of the organ share which is liver, heart, kidney, all fresh, about 12 pounds. I think it's less than $100 for this organ share. And then we have four of a beef fat share, which is like eight pounds of fresh beef fat for about $50. So uh, these are probably going to be gone by the time this video is posted, but uh, we do have the organs and fat available separately from the meat. Uh, there's some yogurt in here. And we did actually get the kefir grains back in stock after a few months. I'm not sure if this butter is sold or not. I'll have to check tomorrow to see if we have two butter left. But hopefully we get more dairy in this week for you guys. And of course, plenty of fresh rare roast beef cooked just today. So if you guys like the fresh beef share, please let us know. Leave some reviews. It's a lot of work, guys. You know, the, the butcher has to slaughter it on like Monday. We get the meat by Tuesday and then we immediately send everything out. And, you know, kind of had to pull some teeth. Uh, to sell all of it this time and the cow was really heavy but the yield was low so i paid a bit more than last time and we got about you know 20 packages less than we should have so technically there should be and i don't know if i said this in the clip last week technically there should be more meat left over so i don't know maybe we'll put the fresh beef share and have you guys pre-order and i won't give a definite date of when it's coming you know it's going to be either three or four weeks and then on top of that i had so many emails i was bombarded with people asking where's my beef share where's my beef share where's my beef share so a bit of a pain a little bit irritating but we'll see uh, regardless of the beef share or not uh, the butcher is sending us some um, iberico breakfast sausages we should have those in this week and we're gonna as i said restock the dairy milk cream yogurt buttermilk a lot more butter we should have everything and we'll hop in the freezer real quick because we do have some new things in this week you know i think that's all the pork bacon we have left just like four portions uh, and our supplier does have more, but there's a price increase. So we'll have to see how the sales are after we finally increase the bacon price. Uh, we did cut some fresh picanha steaks this weekend, if you guys have been missing those. We did get some lamb fat back in stock. 
uh, we have a lot of halal customers that you know don't eat beef fat, don't eat beef and stuff. So they do order a lot of our lamb shrimp fat that's sliced up very nicely. We got most of the meat off. The goat testicles are back in stock. We have lamb, goat, and veal now. Hopefully we can get the beef in soon. I showed you guys the new beef share last week. You get one beef bologna, one beef scrapple, one of our spice sausage, and then one of the smoked sausage. And that's about five pounds of meat for $45, which is a great, great deal. Less than $10 a pound for the highest quality, you know, organic, custom made, custom spice charcuterie products. Yo, it is, it is cold in here today. I have like five shirts on and I'm freezing. Also back in stock is our oxtail. Nice one pound portions all cut up for you guys. And we also restocked plenty of beef heart. Uh, the portions are a little smaller now. Uh, well, this is almost three pounds, so someone's gonna get a deal on that one. But most of them are around two pounds each beef heart portions. And we're gonna get out of here before I start having problems with my camera because the camera is not meant to be in like zero degree weather. Yeah, I think those are all the restocks for this week. I did want to apologize. I told some of you guys that the beef testicles and all the other glandulars would be here already. However, um, supplier couldn't get a truck at a decent rate. So now we're still waiting on that. Hopefully they can come this week or next week. So we should have them soon. But if you guys are waiting on the testicles, you know, just get some of the goat or lamb. I usually have those myself anyway. I don't have the beef testicles. I guess that's it on the meat end of things. Uh, nothing really exciting going on. Uh, still looking for a slaughterhouse, a processing plant, and then obvious steps after that. You know, we're gonna try to have a farm, raise some of the animals ourselves, and then do uh, dairy and egg operation ourselves eventually to have hypoallergenics. I mean, that's, that might be two, three, four years down the line. The processing plant hopefully happens as soon as possible. Um, there, there should be more grants this year, so maybe I can get my hands on one of those and, and also contact rural development and see if we can get something rolling as soon as possible before I end up like getting a Spanish speaking implant in my brain and disappearing to Colombia because I think that's easier than what I'm doing now. I do have a new business idea that we're going to do next month, which is not really a new business idea. It's just like a, a little silly marketing take. So hopefully that happens towards the end of March. And uh, on all the other businesses, Frankie Strange Foods, um, I'll show you guys the water kefir. We got the water kefir grains back in stock. Uh, we should be able to do the pemmican and the banana rice crisp bars this week if you guys have a winning for those. I'm still trying to find something to make the potato chips. Not sure if that's going to happen. Uh, organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. Uh, I'll show you guys more of that stuff next week, but really there's nothing new. You guys have been buying a lot of the mineral supplements. I've been taking them every day. I've been feeling a lot better. Wi-Fi shielding, I'm always wearing my, my hat and my clothes now. And Frankie's Naturals, I use, you know, the hygiene products here and there from time to time. Now we ran out of jerky, but we still have a decent amount of the bill tongue and all the beef sticks. Uh, so, you know, if you guys buy these, uh, maybe we can do our own custom branding and our, our custom spice blends on them, be a little tastier, if I may guess. And yeah, we have the sourdough starters now available. Uh, I'll try to do the bread recipe video this weekend. Uh, one of them actually exploded. We got to wipe this off more. Uh, put a little too much in there. So I'm trying to, you know, put the perfect amount in these jars so you guys get enough of it, but not so much that you know, it kind of explodes from the active culture. I guess two last things, guys. So one, if you could please leave us some reviews on Google, kind of helps us with the SEO, the algorithm on there. And uh, a lot of you had concerns about the Ohio, Palestine chemical spill thing, you know, where the food's being sourced from. We do not have any farms or any animals in that part of PA. You know, most of our stuff is coming from like the bottom portion of New York state, which is by PA, but it's still not that close. And, uh, you know, we don't, most of the meat isn't sourced from there anyway. So it's not a concern on our end. Um, and then I guess if we do end up moving out there somewhere, we won't be, uh, we'll be sure to be testing stuff, but that's not a concern for us. Yeah, honestly, I'm having a hard time differentiating like genuine customer inquiries from secret society harassment because I'm having people like place orders and then ask that question. And I'm like, dude, if you're concerned about it, and just don't place the order. <laughs> like, don't place the order, have me ship the meat out, and then send me that email asking for a refund. So it's kind of kind of unusual behavior, but we'll see. Thank you guys for joining. You can go to frankiesearrangemeat.com as well as frank com if you'd like to check out all the other businesses. But please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I will see you guys soon.